Welcome everyone to a new video. Today we are going to see what's in my backpack for painting outside and travel. This is my backpack. It's not a fancy one and super expensive. You know which one I'm talking about. This is more affordable and I really like it. It is super comfortable and even small has a lot of space to carry all my art supplies. Inside, I carry my little chair for when I'm going to paint for longer periods of time. It is foldable so it fits inside my backpack. Very lightweight but not so comfortable so it's not for painting like hours and hours. I carry this small cushion too from IKEA. Sometimes in the museums you can use the chair so I use this to sit on the floor and also is waterproof from one side, so perfect. And these are all the materials I carry with me to paint outside, here in Madrid or when I travel and paint abroad. All these materials I carry them on this bag. And on this other pouch, inside this little pocket, I carry my brushes, pens and water brush. This flat brush is from Skoda. It is synthetic and I use it for painting bigger areas, for example, like skies. These other brushes are from Da Vinci. I use them for first washes because they hold a lot of water. These other ones are from Skoda too, uh, they are synthetic and more for details and smaller areas. I carry two, these two black pens from Muji, 0.5 and 0.38. They are permanent and sometimes I use them for drawing. This water brush, I use it only when we go to museums and we are not allowed to paint with water outside in a container or in a bowl. And this is my white Posca pen that I use for painting little details or fine lines. This is my red cold erase pencil. I use this because you can erase the drawing even after painting on top. This is my kneaded eraser. I use this one because it doesn't harm my watercolor paper. I carry this whitewash tube for when I want to do my watercolors more opaque or for finer little details. This is my travel palette. I bought it empty on Amazon and I fill it with my favorite watercolor paints from tubes. This is not for any famous brand, so it is so much cheaper and it weighs very little. Also, it has this little ring to put it on your finger if you want to paint with the palette in your hand. I have this foldable water bowl that is great because you can save a lot of space in your backpack and that is very useful when you are traveling, for example. This is my mini spray, it is from Muji too, and I use it for rewetting my watercolors before painting. These are my clamps. These are for attaching the sketchbook, the palette and the water bowl to the board, as you will see very soon.
This is my favorite sketchbook. It is from Stillman Amber. This is the beta version. The paper in this sketchbook is very thick, 270 grams, perfect for watercolor and other water-based techniques. This sketchbook has a soft cover, so it doesn't weigh a lot. I always carry this kitchen paper towels too for cleaning my palette or to remove the stress of water on my brushes. Oh, and I forgot to say that in the other pocket of this pouch are my colored pencils. I carry a selection of my favorite colors and not all the colored pencils I have, of course, and now what I'm using the most are these two brands, Around the Edge Pablo and Faber-Castell Polychromos. And these are my most used materials at the moment for plein air painting here in Madrid or when I travel abroad to paint. Now I'm going to show you how it would be my painting setup. First, I have this foam board that I use as a table to put everything on top. This weighs almost nothing and I put it with the form of my backpack so it fits perfectly. On the foam board I put my sketchbook using two clamps. On the other side I attach the travel palette using another two clamps. And finally, my water bowl goes here or on the floor. And with everything in place, we will be ready to paint like everywhere. And that's all. I hope you enjoy it. If you have questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you so so much for watching and see you very very soon in the next video. Bye bye!